In this video, we're going to talk about the end of day process in the Firefly POS system. When you're ready to run your end of day, click on the end of day icon. This will give you a handy checklist of all the items you need to complete to close out your shift. Here we can see we have a lot of things to do. First of all, we've got five tickets that aren't closed. If I click on this link, I can see what those tickets are. I can actually view them in the POS system if I need to for, so that I can process them. This lets me see all the open orders. For example, here's a pickup order. Perhaps the customer didn't come in to pick up. I can recall this order and go ahead and cash it out or void it if needed. The next things to look at are my drivers and servers that haven't closed their shifts. I can click here and see that Josh needs to close his and Amanda needs to close her table service shift. We have a video that explains exactly how to do this, so I'm not going to show you how to do it here. Okay, now I've gotten all the drivers and servers closed and that also helped me get all of my tickets closed as well. I've got one cache location that's not reconciled. Let's go to cache and I can see I've got cache left that I need to reconcile. Okay, I've entered in the tender amounts that I have in this cache drawer and I just hit complete to finish the reconciliation. Let's go back to the end of day. Okay, let's look at what's next. The end of day deposit. To do that, I can just go to Cash, Deposit. The deposit screen will show you exactly what is suggested based on what the system thinks you've reconciled today. On the right hand side, you can enter your actual deposit amounts. If you'd like, you can have the credit card's amounts filled in automatically for you from the batch screen. I'm going to go ahead and type in my cash amount. If I'd like, I can use this worksheet to count up my cash. You want to confirm that the date and time are correct. So if you're doing a deposit the next morning, make sure that you set it for the proper day. And then when you're done, just press save. This will give you a deposit report that you can print and it'll also send an end of day deposit email alert if you've got that set up. Now, back to our end of day. We've just got two things left. Our credit batch is not settled. So of course we can do that by going to the credit batch and clicking on daily close. Now we've got two employees who are not off the clock. We'll ask them to clock off. But if they've already left for the day, this on the clock report allows me to clock them out for, the, for them. Okay, now my end of day is complete. If I'd like, I can enter in a daily note to record information that's important to keep in mind for future sales forecasts. And I can also print a confirmation, which you might want to have your manager sign. Following these steps will help ensure that your end of day is managed properly on a daily basis.